All right, what's going on guys? It's your boy Zochi and welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. Today's video, I will be giving you guys a short guide on how to clear encore missions and instance dungeons a lot more efficiently. So that way you guys are able to get those level 75 pieces and upgrade your characters in order to take on the workshop of brilliant light to upgrade your characters even more. Before we hop in though, guys, I do have a discord server. I promoted it in the last video, but I want to do it in this one as well. We're trying to get to 1000 members. I will be doing a hundred dollar gift card giveaway to a random person in the discord once we hit 1000. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to join the discord link will be in the description and as well pinned comment in the comment section as well as if you guys haven't already please be sure to subscribe we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers we're actually almost there we can do it uh we're almost at 8.5 right now it would mean the world to me if you guys could hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button comment share and let's just hop straight into it all right guys so here we are over at the it, what's this one the encore missions yeah encore dungeon here uh, as you can see this is the golem one In my opinion this one is pretty hard i'm not gonna lie <laughs> this one is actually pretty tough uh, i think it's just because of certain things that this boss does uh it catches you off guard that's why it's tough it's not really the fight itself where it's actually tough but the things he does can catch you off guard and you have to be prepared for it right so i'm gonna teach you guys some things because i'm actually gonna fight it in this video we're gonna do maybe like a quick one that so that way it's not too long so i can show you guys exactly what you want to do but i'm also going to show you guys the best character to use ironically for this fight you guys probably already know he got an insane buff recently and now is one of the probably the best breakers in the game and his name is jinchul you guys already know him but um the artifact grinding has not really changed so let me explain to you because in the last artifact grind video that i did make i said grind ones that you know you can beat so let's say for me example for example right now i'm at tier eight but tier eight takes too long for me to clear all right so what i'll do is i'll clear tier seven because that one is a lot quicker and it still drops a lot of uh artifacts for me that are also gold right so that's how i suggest you guys go about farming these things so if you're any if you're struggling on tier five but you can beat tier five instead of wasting time right go to tier four get some purple pieces then once your character is strong enough for the, for the next tier go ahead and do that and then you'll clear tier five and if you struggle on tier six continue to clear tier five get some gold pieces and then continue so on and so on until you can farm better artifacts right so for me right now tier nine is where i'm at and tier eight is where i would go ahead and you know clear this one However, tier eight also still takes too long for me. So I would actually clear tier seven, get these gold pieces, then come back and then go ahead and farm for other pieces or other stages, right? So I suggest you guys do that. Uh, for Workshop of Brilliant Light, it's, uh, it's these artifacts are meant to help you clear Workshop of Brilliant Light, right? So if you have pieces and you can already clear Workshop of Brilliant Light, you can use the ones that you got from workshop of brilliant light to clear these ones just so you can have those level 75 for other characters that might use them better for example uh i'm actually going to change my curse set from um from sung Jinu and just put the toughness set and the expert set because i did make a video yesterday about the best sets for him to use and that's exactly what it was what it is but i also want to do a showcase on a few of these newer uh artifacts here like the warmonger right? i want to see what the attack and defense by four percent is like i want to see the damage increase that you actually get and then when it, uh, when you have the four set it says when the user's attacks hit their attack and defense increase by three percent for six seconds and it stacks up to eight times so i want to see this in action and i want to see how much damage you're actually able to do at level 75 with these right so there's actually a bunch of new ones so this one is basically the holy set <laughs> i'm not gonna lie this one gives you HP, which is really good for um, Sa and Emma, right? Because they scale off of HP. So if you have these, definitely go ahead and use those. But again, if you can farm, the way you want to farm these is farm the stage that you don't struggle with, right? So again, if you can beat tier 7, but you struggle with tier 7, go ahead and beat tier 6. A lot of free-to-play players are actually making it towards tier 6 right now. Tier 6 is the stage that people can actually beat as a free-to-play player. So if you can farm tier six, go ahead and 
farm tier six we're actually gonna do a little bit of tier six right now so i can show you guys because you know again it is for the most part this is where most free to play players are all right so we're gonna go ahead and jump in again if you guys are enjoying the video so far and it is helpful be sure to hit that like button and let's just hop straight into this fight all right here we go as you see my goat jin chul right there look at this he's actually so good like, he's actually so good now all right go here so you want to dodge that attack first just use his brakes as quickly as possible just so we can get this cleared quicker there it is he's almost broken use this right now and just one more skill hit and then he's broken here there it is now we call in our shadows right so we can do as much damage as possible Go like this use this then we're gonna go into our melee in a second here actually we're gonna go in after we get him past the 69 percent because he'll go into his his thing here let's get him to there it is use this okay we didn't cook as much as i thought we were gonna do right there i actually kind of messed up but it's okay the same strategy still works. Switch here. I'm actually going to use this here. He's going to jump up again. That's fine. Use this. He's going to go into the middle one more time. He's going to do his thing. And should be dead in a second here. And there it is. All right, and that's how you want to clear the stage again. Jinchul is your biggest, your biggest help in this one. All right, because his his break is very good, very very good. So there you go. That's how you want to clear this uh, tier six section. Look, again, tier six is dropping me gold pieces as well, and it's actually not not a bad piece, not a bad piece. So go ahead, clear your tier six if you are free to play, and let's take a look at the incense dungeon now. Actually, before we clear the instant dungeons, I just want to show you guys this one. Because I actually haven't even attempted it myself yet. So let's go ahead and just clear like the, the first level. Because I want to see what he does, right? So he's going to come up here. You can see that. Bro, the upgraded... Wait, hold on. The upgraded Shaheen is so good. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, I'm getting cooked on the, literally the first one. <laughs> Literally the first one. That's fine. Use this here. This one shouldn't be too bad because there's no uh, there's no shield, right? So it shouldn't be too bad. Unless he's gonna come up over there, like this. Use this, and this will be GG's. He's too like jumpy you know what i mean it's too jumpy use this and he's dead all right so that's that fight that's actually a pretty cool fight i'm not gonna lie pretty cool but he's too like he moves around the map too much i'm gonna be honest with you. he moves around the map too much let's go on to the instance dungeon now okay so here we are over at the kargalgan fight here again this is the only one i've done so far because i'm trying to hunt for this uh expert piece in the bracelet and the necklace so that way I could give it to my Sung Junu, because again, I do think that's going to be his best set overall, uh, besides the curse set, right? So if you guys are farming, be sure to try to get that one. Um, and I also want to do use this new one as well, the outstanding ability for Mirei, because it has MP buff, so it's pretty good. We'll take a look at that in a separate video. I don't want to go too deep into it on this one, but it's going to be a very good one, I think, on Mirei. Because Mirei scales off of MP, right? So let's see if it works eventually. But yeah, same thing applies for Kargalgan here. Tier, whichever tier you can beat is what you want to do, right? Don't be afraid. Like, if you can only clear tier 5, again, go ahead and do tier 5, right? There's nothing wrong. Because you can even still get gold pieces in this one, as you can see right here. Uh, again, most people are making it up to tier 6. Because a lot of free-to-play players are actually now hitting 500k uh, battle power overall right so this shouldn't be too difficult for you guys but i understand that it could be so again tier do a tier that you don't struggle with and then get the artifacts 
and then once you're completely fine with clearing that one go on to the next one get artifacts from there and repeat the process right so for me tier 10 is rough it takes too long right so i can clear tier 9 perfectly fine so we'll do tier 9 we'll get some pieces and yeah that's how i farm for these artifacts so we're gonna do a fight of it per usual and then show you guys what the fight entails it's literally it's cargolgan so you guys probably already know what it does but i want to show you guys again one more time so let's just jump straight into it all right here we go we're at cargolgan here listen we've already seen this fight a bunch of times it's not a hard fight right it is not a hard fight i actually don't remember which tier i'm doing right now either i am be honest with you. this could be tier 10 this could be tier 10. i didn't bring any break units unfortunately i really should have though i should have but it's okay Okay, he's gonna teleport over there. This is completely fine. We're gonna dash that. Use this. Get these breaks as quickly as possible. Actually, not doing too bad here. We are not doing too bad. Once he gets down to 70%, he actually goes into his form here. Let me dodge. Why would it not let me dodge? You saw that, right? You guys saw that. I messed up. I meant to use the Moon Shadow first there. Alright, he's gonna do this thing here. That's fine. There it is. Perfect. Use the Moon Shadow here. Use this. Use Shaheen right there. Okay. Let's go here. Use this. Perfect. Use this. I didn't dash. I don't think I got the dash off. But that is okay. So that's pretty much how you clear Kargalan. This won't kill, but we're already at the 25%. So oh, I did kill actually. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right, and there you have it. That is the Kargalan fight. So again, if you guys are struggling, that's how you do it. All right. All right. And that's how you. Oh, it was tier 9. Okay. And this is how you click. Ooh, please. Oh, no, my. This is actually not bad. This is actually not bad at all. Now, if we can get our plus ones on the crit hit damage and attack percent, this is a perfect, perfect set. I'm actually going to give it to Junu. I actually will. Very good. But yeah, that's how you clear these instance dungeons and the Encore dungeons uh, more efficiently. All right, so clear the ones that you can clear easily so that way you have a lot more time you're not wasting your time uh farming for these and then when you can clear the other ones go ahead and do the other ones right so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video hit that like button comment share and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one peace